This is a moisturizer, an anti-aging moisturizer. This moisturizer is rich in vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. This moisturizer have my skin looking amazing. I like to apply this on my skin at night and I just like to just massage it on my skin. This moisturizer is how to transform my skin. It's a moisturizer that is rich in natural, anti-aging properties and take a look at this guys this is what I want to show you how amazing this moisturizer is I'm just applying it on my cheekbones right here right in my laugh lines and look at that look how it just lift my skin this helped my skin to look so much younger it take years off my skin guys this have my skin so clear so bright and naturally glowing now i'm sure you're wondering what is that you're using on your skin well guess what guys here is the recipe for you our first ingredient is papaya and papaya will help to lighten brighten and remove pigmentation on the skin but best of all papaya will help to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines it is amazing to use topically on the skin especially when you are looking for younger looking skin with a more youthful glow to make this papaya remedy I am gonna be blending the papaya so let's take about a two ounces of the papaya And with the papaya not in waste, you're gonna remove the seeds and you're gonna leave that seed to make your papaya facial serum. You're also gonna remove the outer peel of the papaya and you're gonna leave the peel to make your facial scrub. And here is the flesh of the papaya and this is what we're gonna blend to make our papaya moisturizer. Now I'm gonna cut the papaya in small pieces. So I'm gonna place my papaya in my blender. Once this is done, we're gonna be reaching for some rose water. And rose water helps to hydrate the skin, have to balance the natural pH levels of the skin. So I'm going to pour about a tablespoon of the rose water in the blender with our papaya. Now take a look at my next ingredient. Here I have some honey. And honey is a humectant that helps to lock moisture in the skin. Help to keep your skin looking younger, fresher and hydrated. So we're going to pour the honey in the blender along with the papaya and the rose water a half a teaspoon of honey and now I'm gonna cover and I'm gonna blend now after blending I like to strain to make sure to get rid of any lumps so let's just strain you can also choose to use a cheesecloth Once this is done, take a look. Here we have our papaya puree, and this is what we're using to make our moisturizer. So what we're gonna do next, we are gonna reach for some grapeseed oil, and grapeseed oil is a very light oil. It will not clog the pores. It's a good oil for most skin type, rich in vitamin E, and also help to hydrate and nourish the skin. I'm using a tablespoon of the grapeseed oil, pour this in the blender, and next I'm gonna reach for a special oil. Now at this stage, you can choose to use any special oil of your choice. Now I'm gonna be using some of the papaya seed oil. So I'm using about a 
half a teaspoon of the papaya seed oil. If you do not have the papaya seed oil, go ahead and use whatever special oil you have, such as rose seed oil, cake oil, harrogan oil, or any, any of your favorite oil. My next oil is squalene oil, and squalene oil mimic the natural skin. It is great for hydrating. It is good to keep the skin soft, supple, and help to reduce wrinkles and fine lines. I'm also going to be using about a half a teaspoon of the squalene oil. Now, if you do not have any of these two oils, use any two of your favorite oil in this recipe. So here we have grapeseed oil, squalene oil, and papaya seed oil. Next, I'm gonna reach for some aloe vera gel. And aloe vera help to clear pigmentation on the skin, lighten, brighten, and protect the skin from sun. So I'm using a tablespoon of the aloe vera gel, pour this in. And now we're going to reach back for our papaya puree. And I'm going to be using about three teaspoons of the papaya puree, which is about a tablespoon of the papaya puree. Pour that in. Now I have an optional ingredient. This is vegetable glycerine. If you do not have vegetable glycerine, go ahead and use some vitamin E oil in this recipe. I'm using a teaspoon of the vegetable glycerine. Use about a half a teaspoon of vitamin E oil. And now we are gonna cover. We're gonna give it a little shake. And I'm gonna blend. Now after blending, take a look. This is it. Be storing mine in a glass jar. Use any clean sterilized jar that you have. So let's pour our moisturizer out. And here it is guys, here is your anti-aging, anti-wrinkle facial moisturizer. This is their papaya moisturizer. This moisturizer you can use on your skin, clean skin. This is gonna help to reduce wrinkles and fine lines, clear hyperpigmentation, boots the collagen production and elastin in the skin, help your skin to look years younger once used on a regular. Store this in the refrigerator and use it up within seven days. Now to use the moisturizer, a little goes a long way and you want to start with clean skin. So you're going to take a little of the moisturizer, you're going to add it on like this and then you are going to massage it and I just want to massage this on my hands up close for you to see. Take a look guys, this is just melting in the skin. Such an amazing moisturizer for anti-aging skincare.